Arma just announced the brand new V2.5 Outcast and Creighton 4S vehicles, and there are quite a few things new on these cars. I wanted to find out exactly what was new, so I went through the entire Exploded View diagram and found every single new part on these trucks, and I was surprised to see there's something that's actually been removed. Now, if you want to hear a breakdown on every new vehicle that comes out, make sure you get subscribed, because we're doing that here. Taking a look at this Exploded View diagram, we've got quite a few new things here. The first one's going to be that new updated chassis. Comparing it to the old chassis, it does appear to be very, very similar. However, they have the cutouts for the new center differential module, just like they did with the Mojave chassis. The Creighton's going to be using the extra long wheelbase chassis, and the Outcast is going to be using the medium wheelbase chassis. Speaking of that module, we've got the exact same module that came in the Mojave 4S. This module has been backordered ever since the Mojave 4S came out. Maybe we know now where those parts are going. Also updated appears to be the battery mount, as well as the battery mount straps. Connected to this chassis, we've also got some new electronics. We've got the 120 amp Firma V2 4S ESC and the new 18 kilogram centimeter Metal Gear Servo. This looks very similar to the one that comes in the new 6S Big Rock. I suspect the gear train will be the same with just a less powerful motor. That means this should be a very durable servo in this setup and hopefully we won't have to upgrade this. Attached to that is a new 25 tooth combination servo horn and servo saver. Unfortunately, it's the exact same design we had before. I would have liked to have seen something updated here because this design was never really that fantastic to begin with and it still isn't now. Moving toward the outside of the chassis, we've got some reinforcements here that first were seen on the Mojave. I'm not entirely certain what these reinforcements are supposed to do. They wrap around the CVD, but don't actually touch it, and then include the screw for the upper suspension link. Maybe they're there to reinforce the upper suspension. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think about that down in the comments. Also attached to the chassis are going to be a new set of side guards. These are taller and overall larger and should provide more protection for dirt ingress into the chassis. However, they're also going to block airflow, so it may cause those electronics to run warm. The rest of the drivetrain is basically exactly the same. We've got the same front and rear EXB style differentials with all metal gears. In the rear, on the outside of those differentials, we see these nice new mud guards that cover the rear shocks and rear drive shafts. Those are really handy to have because they keep a lot of grass, dirt, mud, and whatnot off of those parts, and it will make them last longer. Now, in a bit of a surprise move, the front and rear sway bars have actually been removed from this vehicle, and now they're showing as optional. Whether or not a vehicle has sway bars really does affect its handling, and I'm curious to see how not having the sway bars on this vehicle will affect the handling. I don't think they would have done this as a cost-cutting measure, simply because it wouldn't cost them that much to have the sway bars on, so they must feel as though not having the sway bars on these cars is an advantage. Whether or not it'll actually be an advantage, really, it's probably going to depend on your bashing style. We'll see how it is with my bashing style. I do have one of these pre-ordered, and we are going to find out when it gets here. Now, beyond that, basically everything else on the car is the same. We do have a couple of new colorways for the body. Bodies, but the bodies themselves have not changed. The only other difference is they dropped the price by $20. I think that's a great thing. However, people who have recently bought the previous version are probably not going to be very happy and may be trying to return those vehicles. It'll be interesting to see how Horizon handles that, but the reality is that anytime you have an update like this, some people are going to be happy, and the only way to make sure that it doesn't happen would be to never update the vehicles, which would be bad for everybody, so it's sort of part of the nature of the beast. So that's it, guys. That's every part that I could find that's updated on these vehicles. Did I miss anything? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you're going to be picking one of these things up. Make sure you get subscribed and then check out this video.